Boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to FTB Infinity Light. That's right, folks, we're back on the Beach Block server doing some modded Minecraft. Uh, last episode, as you may or uh, may not recall, we... Um, we worked on our blood altar a little bit. We got it upgraded to tier four. There's only two tiers left to go, which is awesome. Uh, we need to start looking into some other uh, some other things like some rituals and stuff. But today, today we're going to do something a little different. Last episode, I asked you about uh, about a quarry. We need to have quarry. We need to get a quarry going in the mining dimension so that we can have all of the materials that we need. Because I mean, frankly, I mean we've got a lot of stuff. But we don't have a lot of stuff, you know. We don't have a lot of important stuff, like like when it comes to uh, when it comes to actual like materials to use. That's really all we have. We have 91 iron. We have 102 copper. We have 43 gold. We really don't have much of anything uh, to be able to use. Uh, uh, lapis. We only have 31. I need. I still need to make two more mending books. One for my shovel. One for my bow. And, you know, we're just, we're running really low on stuff. And so I figure the best thing that we can do today is actually get a, uh, get a, uh, a, a quarry of some kind going uh, in this episode. And so last episode we asked you, would you rather see me do the blood magic ritual, uh, since we're kind of concentrating on blood magic, would you rather see the ritual for mining? Uh, I think it's the ritual of the crusher. Uh, or would you rather see me do something with RF tools builders? And... The response was, while well, the response was kind of light, um, everybody basically said, you got to do the builder. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go ahead and we're going to get ourselves a uh, builder quarry. We're going to set it up in the, in, the, in the mining dimension, and we are going to, uh, uh, we're going to start to reap the benefits of, uh, of that system. So first things first, we need to make a builder, right? So builder... So a builder is this thing right here. Uh, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. You need some bricks, you need some redstone, you need a machine frame, and you need an ender pearl. Now, you may have seen it as I scrolled through here. We actually have a pretty fair number of ender pearls. And you might be asking yourself, say self, where did RB get all these ender pearls from? Well, in case you missed it, go over to Kraken's channel. Uh, Kraken was able to... Uh, defeat the Ender Dragon. So we actually have a, a means of going to the end now and getting Ender Pearls, and so I have done that. Uh, I went and got myself some End Stone. I went and got myself some, uh, uh, basically a full, uh, a full stack, which is four stacks of Ender, four individual stacks of Ender Pearls, so that we actually have what we need. Also got myself some Ender Lily seeds so that we can get ourselves a farm going here uh, in the overworld so that we have all the Ender Pearls that we could possibly ever want or need. Um, so yeah, so we've got all of that. So first things first, I guess we'll build one of these machine frames uh, with the little, little, with the limited amount of lapis that we have. Uh, so we need to get a machine frame done. We need to go back in here. We need to have this, which we don't have the bricks, right? So we got to make some bricks. Uh, do we have clay? Don't have those either. Okay, so we we should have some clay in here. Do we have some clay? Clay. We do have some clay. Ooh, we don't have very much though. We got this though. Uh, okay. Well, we're we're uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah, that'll be enough. One, two, three. Actually, one, two, three, four. That'll be enough. So we'll take this down to the uh, down to the smeltery, or not to the smeltery, but down to the furnace room here, right over here, and we'll get those baked up into uh, into bricks, and then then we will be able to make our uh, we'll be able to make our, our our brick blocks, I guess is what you want to call them. Um, this thing I can't I I can't believe how simple and efficient this thing is. This thing is awesome. It, it spits out, you know, half a dozen to a dozen uh, zombies per night, and it keeps my tools pretty well mended. Like I said, I still need a, a, a mending book for both my shovel and my bow, but, uh, man, I couldn't ask for anything better. This is just great. Um, okay, so while we're waiting on that, what else can we, what else can we make? There are a few other things that we have to have, like the shape card. So uh, there's, a, th there's different levels of... There's different le different levels of mining that you can do in here. There's the the basic shape card for a quarry. Basically, if you use this, uh, what the builder is going to do is it's going to take your uh, it's going to mine out the area that you tell it to mine, and it's going to replace everything with a dirt block. Okay, 
Uh, so you really can't see the progress. You can go into the builder and you can see what level it's on because it tells you what Y level it's mining at currently and so forth. But you, uh, and, until it's done, you have no visual representation of what's going on inside of that quarry. Um, you have a silk touch quarry, which will silk touch all of the ore blocks. So, you know, if it runs across diamonds, you get an actual diamond ore block rather than the actual diamonds. You have a shape card for fortune, which... Obviously, that'll give you fortune, and so if you have one diamond ore block, you could get the uh, you could get the maximum amount of diamond ore that's capable of being gotten out of that, or diamond block out, or yeah, diamond actual diamonds out of that. Um, and then there's the clearing quarry. So the clearing quarry, what it does is instead of replacing everything with dirt, it does like the old turtles and the old uh, quarries from extra utilities used to do. Uh, was it extra utilities or was it? Uh, build craft. I don't, anyway, it actually creates a hole, okay? And then you can do the silk touch clearing quarry, and you can do the silk touch clearing, uh, f uh, you can do the fortune clearing quarry. Now, I can't do these, uh, because in order to do the fortune quarry, you got to have a gas tier, which gas tier would be easy, but the dimensional shards, not so much. I don't have any dimensional shards, right? Uh, we could also do, oh, there's a pump card? <gasps> what? <gasps> You can do, oh, you can do a water pump in this thing. Are you serious? Oh, baby. Anyway, uh, the Silk Touch card, same thing, except it requires another star. We're not doing any of that. But I think we can do, I think we can do this one, just the regular old clearing quarry, because basically all that is a shape card surrounded by glass. So to make these things, first thing you got to make is one of these. You got to make a... Ooh, we need uh, we need two more bricks. So let's get ourselves some more uh, clay and make two more bricks. No, nope, not the sword. One, two. Oh boy. Okay. So there's that. Make two more bricks. We can make. Uh, we can go ahead and make these into bricks. Uh, oh, we actually can do that. So, boom, 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 boom. Four of those. Perfect. Okay, these should be done now. Sweet. We can make our quarry card or our builder, our shape card. So let's go ahead and make the shape card. We got paper? Yeah, we got paper. Sweet. Okay, then we have to make the shape card for the quarry. So that's going to be redstone, shape card, two iron. It's going to need a diamond pickaxe and a diamond shovel. So let's make a diamond pickaxe and a diamond shovel. Um, actually, just go like this, go like this, do that. Boom. Diamond pickaxe. Diamond shovel, sweet. Go in here, go in here. There we go. Shape card, okay. And then we wanted to make the shape card for the clearing quarry, and that's just surrounded by glass. We don't have any glass, so we need to get some sand and make some glass. Sand. Okay. I should have just made the whole thing into glass, but I didn't really want to. I didn't really want to do that. You can understand why, right? I don't even understand why, so don't even answer that. Um, anyway, so while that's doing that, what else can we do? We uh, we really really can't do much else as far as the quarry goes. Now, here's. So you need a power source. This thing holds a hundred million RF. This builder block holds like a hundred million RF, I think. Um, craziness, absolute craziness. Um, so you need something that's going to provide a lot of power, right? And so what I think I'm going to do is I want to use red coal. Now I think I have a piece of that red coal in my inventory already. Yes. So here it is. Burn time on this red coal is 12,800. If you compare that to a regular piece of coal, which I don't even have a regular piece of coal because I've used it all in my sterling generators. If you, the regular piece of coal is only have only has a burn time of about 300, so this burns for a lot longer. And and you make this by putting it into an extra utilities uh, resonator. So we're going to use this thing. We've got plenty of JP being generated, right? So we're generating 76. We only need 30 some to fly. So that's kind of cool. Uh, let's get these guys killed. Quiet. Quiet down in there, will ya? 
Quiet down in here. You guys are distracting. Wow, they just keep coming. If I was into gold armor, this would be a good place to get some from because they constantly are dropping gold armor. And eggs, apparently. We gotta put some of this stuff away. This is crazy. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Uh, yep. Uh, we need that. Okay, so can we build the builder quarry yet? Did we get that far? Builder. Nope. Not in there. Gotta do it down here. Builder. So, builder quarry. We got bricks. We got ender pearls. We should be able to make this thing now, right? Yeah, we can make it. Okay, so there's our builder quarry. So we got the builder. We got the quarry card. We need a resonator because we're going to turn we're going to make red coal, right? So we need to get a little bit of charcoal to start with. We'll put charcoal in the resonator and that will make red coal because you can make red coal out of either charcoal or regular coal. So we'll make some red coal. We will uh, we'll use that to initially power the builder and then whatever coal it mines up, we're going to pump it right back into the resonator and automatically make red coal to keep this thing self-perpetuating, right? Um, so we can do so that's something that we can do. But the problem is is that the coal generator from RF tools doesn't take red coal. This coal generator doesn't work with red coal. You can't put it in there. So we have to use something else. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually use a sterling generator from, uh, from Ender.io. Now I've got a bunch of them here. I've got six of them already made up, right? So I'm just going to take one of these. We'll take this one right here, I guess. Um, we'll just take that one right there. We can build more when we get more materials and put it back. Uh, let's, let's pick up all this, get rid of all that. Um, I don't know why I'm so, I don't know why I'm keeping all this gold armor. It's clogging up my inventory. So there's that. So we got a sterling generator. We need a, we got a resonator. We're going to need a power monitor from RF tools also. So uh, power, we're going to use a power monitor. Is it, that's not a power monitor. It's an RF monitor. Yeah, it's the RF monitor. So we're going to need to make, we need one of these and that's just a couple of redstone torches. It's a red a machine frame and then some redstone. Uh, can I just make that? Nope, because I don't have any of the stuff. So we need to make a machine frame. Easy peasy. Uh, gold nuggets, apparently. There we go. Now we can make the machine frame. We can't make the machine frame. Yes, we can. So there's our machine frame. We need to make some torches, some redstone torches. Easy enough. One, two. Uh, boom, boom, make. So we got a power monitor or an RF monitor now? Yep, okay. And then we also need a power relay. So what I want to do is I want to try and limit the amount of time that the builder is actually running. And we can do that by telling the power relay, hey, if this thing doesn't have, if this thing has less than 1% uh, of power, don't let it try to run. Let the power build up and then let it try to run so we're not constantly burning through energy. Uh, I did a little something like this in my Unstable series before. Uh, so again, we need some redstone torches. Let's make a couple of those. We're going to need another machine frame. Let's make a couple of those, or make one of those. And then we're also going to need to do this. Do we have enough gold? Yes, we do. Good. Okay, so there's that. So we got our power monitor. Okay, so now we should we should be able to go to the mining dimension now and actually get this thing going. Do we have any conduits? We have power conduits. We need to make some uh, we need to make some item conduits. So I'm going to go ahead and make up some item conduits and gather up a few other things that we're going to need for in the mining dimension. Clear out my inventory a little bit, and when I come back, we'll be in the mining dimension, and I'll show you how we're going to do this. Okay. Here we are in the mining dimension. Um, I have a mine right over there. Okay, I I don't know that I've stripped it completely empty, but you know I've done pretty well at it. Uh, Kraken has a mine over here. 
So what I'm thinking is, I don't know that anybody's been over here to the, uh, I guess that, that'd be west. Uh, so I don't know that anybody's been over here to the west. So let's go over here to the west a little ways and, uh, and, see, and see if we can come up with a place. Uh, oops, that's north, uh, east. Wow. Let's go back to the portal <laughs> and then go west. Right now. Okay, so yeah, we'll go over here to the west a little ways. Uh, not super duper far, but you know, a distance away, a fair distance away. Uh, we'll come over this way, and we'll we'll put up the chunk borders, and we'll kind of get an idea of where we want this to go. Oh, little bit of rubber band in there. Uh, there's a ravine here, that's kind of cool, but that also limits the number of blocks that we're gonna get. Um, so maybe we don't want to do it with the ravine. Where are my chunk lines? There we go. So here's our chunk borders. How about we do it right here? Move it, pig, you bother me. Um, so first thing we need to put down is the builder block. Okay, Builder block goes right there. Boom. Ooh, got an achievement. Bob the builder. Okay, Then we, we need to link our quarry card to it. Now, I do this a little bit differently than some people. Some people go, you know, you got you to gotta pick the first block, you got to pick the last block, and they need to be, like, at opposing corners. So, like, let's say I wanted to mine this entire chunk right here, right? The first block that I would select would be this one, and then I'd go over here to this opposing corner, and I'd have to dig all the way down to bedrock and select that block as my uh, as my last block okay now there's another way that you can do this you can actually automatically configure this this block um, you can automatically configure this block to do all of the things for you uh, just by typing in numbers okay so what I want to do is I want to I want to go ahead and set this up so for, to, to set it up first thing you do is shift click right I am going to select the first corner and then I'm going to come over here and do the opposing corner. And I think we're going to go to this, whoops, we're going to go to this chunk over here. And we're going to select that one, right? So now if we go into the card, it's a 32 by 32, has an offset of negative 16 and, a, uh, and, and an offset of negative 15 there. Okay, those are fine. I'm not going to do anything with those numbers. But what I am going to do is, notice that on my map, I'm at level 70, right? I'm at level 70. So if we come in here and we tell this that we want to go to, say, 71, and start at negative 65. Oops, not 65. Negative 65. Okay. Now watch this. If we come in here and we put this card in, Okay, we need to give it power, but we also need to give it a redstone signal. Can I do this without the redstone signal? I can't. Uh, we need to give it a redstone signal, so we need a lever. Uh, lever, we don't have any. We have to make one. Okay, so lever. I said, stop it. There we go. Lever. Make a lever. Boom. One, please. Thank you. And we put this right on the front. Yeah, we got to have power for it. So I guess it's time to set up the power generation for this thing. So the power generation is going to go right over here, I guess. Now, we do need to make sure that this stays chunk loaded. We need to make sure that this stays chunk loaded. So if I go into my chunk loading area right here, okay, I want to chunk load this one. And I want to chunk load this one. I think. It says I'm facing that way on the map. Yeah. So I want to I want to do this one and this one. So these are now chunk loaded. I could just have chunk loaded this one, I guess. I guess that probably would have been okay. Hmm. Anyway, so we want to take this resonator, right? I want to put the resonator down. And I guess we'll put the resonator, say, there. There we go. And we want to have it start making red coal. Okay. We want to take the red coal and we want to supply it to this thing. Okay, so we're going to put this down. Um, no, we're going to put the we're going to put this down first. 
Okay, so put that down. Now this is our power relay, right? Power relay has got a bunch of cool stuff in it. And I'm going to have to go and look at the settings one more time and make sure that I do this right. But it has an upside, a bottom side, a left, a right, a front, and a back, right? Uh, so down, up, back, front, left, right. Okay. So this, since this is the left, that obviously means that this is the right. So we want to actually configure this so that it outputs on the right at 1,000 RF. It's already done. We, it's already going to do that, right? We also need to put the RF monitor down here. The RF monitor, what it's going to do is it's going to monitor the builder block. And we're going to tell it if there is less than 1% power in the builder block, then you're going to allow power to pass through. Okay. I do this for a reason. I got this actually from the mod author, uh, MC Jetty. Uh, and he he has done this on numerous occasions, and it works amazingly. It actually is a very good way to conserve your fuel. Notice that we've already got four red coal in here. Uh, then we're going to take our Sterling generator and put it up on the top. Okay, so now basically, when there is a redstone signal, we're going to let we're going to tell the upside to input a thousand RF. And we're going to tell the right side to output 1,000 RF. So this thing's going to start making power, right? Go ahead and turn that off. This thing's going to start making power, and it's going to feed it through to this. So if I take a piece of this red coal and put it in there, is it, is it sending power through yet? It is. It is. It's sending power through already So because it already had power in it. So let's go ahead and do that. This thing should charge up to about 1%, which will be a little over 100,000 RF, or I think it is. And then it should stop. So I'm going to go ahead and cut here. I'm going to do a little bit of configuring, and then I'll come back and show you what we've got going on. So hang tight. Okay, so I think we're ready. I moved the, I moved the, uh, the resonator a little bit. but uh, So <clears throat> here's what we got. We have a chest on top of the, uh, on top of the builder. All of our materials are going to go into that chest, right? when we have an item filter set to extract all the time. Over here, we have an item filter set up to insert, but only insert red coal, okay? Um, over here, over here, this thing is set up, actually, I might need to disable this for a minute. Um, as a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna do that. Let's go ahead and take that out of there for right now. Um, that way, the only thing that's, it, it's not, uh, hey, you know what, I don't have to do that. Let's just do it this way. Let's put a filter there, boom. Let's put a uh, an item filter in there. We can't configure it yet, but this is going to be in and out, okay? Um, and then we'll just disable this one, so it's just not, yeah. We'll just turn that on to redstone mode, whoops. Redstone mode, yep. Okay, so active with redstone signal. Okay, so I think we're ready to turn this thing on now. So let's go ahead and do it. And we got nothing. We got nothing. Why is it doing nothing? Builder is currently at level 35. I don't think that's right. Oh, darn it. Okay, got to do some troubleshooting. Hang tight. Okay, I did some. I did a little bit of reconfiguring. And so I, now I've got the markers turned on. See how this is blue right here? That means that this is inside the area that the builder is going to try and, and, and build. And I did mine down a few blocks there just to, just to set an offset for it. And so let's go ahead and turn this on now. And we should start to see, or not, what in the world is going on. Oh, wait a minute. I might know what the problem is. Hold on. Shape card. Boom. Yeah. We need to set this for solid box. That'll do it. That might have been what the problem was in the first place. Now, boom. Well, it's getting stuff. But why is it not? It should be clearing. Oh, it is clearing. Okay, so it started over here and it's just going nice and slow. There we go. 
So yeah, it's just going to go nice and slow, and it's going to clear out the space for us. I love it. So that's going to be the that's going to be that part of it. So I'm going to go ahead and let this mine for a little while and see if we can't find some coal because then we need to get this set up so that it will input uh, it will input coal, export red coal. Red coal will go back into this thing, and then uh, and then when we when we've got that part done, then we'll show you how we're going to get all of these items back to the overworld because we're not going to use the typical ender chest setup okay we're going to do something a little different so hang tight and when we come back we should be ready to do that okay so i've got the builder turned off for a minute <clears throat> i don't want it to do any mining i want actually letting it build up on power but i've added a couple of blocks here so here we have the remote storage unit the remote storage block um, this allows for us to have access remotely across dimensions to an inventory space okay it's a it's similar to the tablet but it, it it's designed um, it's designed to actually just allow for this storage to be incorporated into our other storage back at the base okay so what I've done here is we've got the builder outputting to a chest the only reason I'm using the builder to output to the chest is because I can't hook the conduits up directly to the builder the uh, the builder has to export to an inventory so i'm put the chest here so that we have a place to kind of buffer all of our materials right then i've got the i've got it set up to pull coal uh, to pull all items out okay it's going to pull all items out uh, and actually i don't know that i need it to do all items i might just need it to do coal i might just need it to do coal um actually i could just uh yeah anyway We'll, I'll, we'll figure that out in a minute. But the coal comes over here, it goes into the resonator, the resonator turns it into red coal, and then it exports it back out into the Sterling Generator. Sterling Generator is doing nicely. It is... Why is it... Why is it still... That's not. Okay. Um, and then power comes over and feeds the remote storage block. I also have in here a modular storage block. You cannot input items into this inventory okay you have to input them into an RF tools modular storage inventory so what we did here what I've done here is I've created two of these remote storage modules okay we'll have one of these modular storage units here in the uh, in the mining dimension that we'll be able to go in and we'll be able to access and see what all's in it but we'll also have one back in the overworld so that I can access it from my tablet okay but I have to have this in order to input the items into it this one right here this inventory or this pot conduit is set up to extract everything except for coal so all the coal should stay in that inventory it'll uh, it'll get pulled out and put over in there and so that'll be uh, that'll be kind of a cool thing so to make this work what we have to do is we have to take a storage module now I can only build the tier 2 right now because the other one the tier 3 requires gold blocks and I don't have any gold blocks um, but we also have to do say we have to enable cross-dimensional uh, because we're in a different dimension so it has to be able to be cross-dimensional um, then we take these uh, we take these remote storage modules and we link them to this card so you see how this has a uh, an ID of one okay this now has an ID of one also. This one right here doesn't have any information on it yet. Put that in there. Now it becomes ID one also. So basically what this is doing is it's telling this block right here now to talk to this inventory. Okay. So any items that get put in here will get put into this inventory right here. Okay. So now if we go in here and we tell this to go ahead and extract items, things should start coming in here, right? Is it extracting? It is not extracting. Why is it not? Oh, because this is not set for input. Set this for ins insert. Okay. So now here come the inventory items, right? Look over here, hover on this, and it will show you that we have, that the stacks are building. So it is actually storing items in this inventory. Now, if I take this storage module or this uh, remote storage module that I have in my inventory here and take it back to the base, then I can put this extra modular storage unit down there in the storage room and we'll have access to this inventory for the builder quarry all the time. How about that? How awesome is that? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing on. Okay, and it should be, should be mining. There it goes. Yep, it is definitely mining. Is it mining? Oh, it is mining. Cool. It's definitely mining. I love it. 
Okay, good. And we're going to head back to the overworld now. And we're going to do the linking back there uh, so that we can actually get this part, this inventory, into our regular inventory. And that'll probably just about do it for today. Uh, let's get back over here to the portal. And once we get back to the overworld, this should go pretty quick. So, boom, back to the overworld. Oh, little lag spike. Always get that when I come back from the mining dimension. Things are starting to fill up in the world a little bit, so lag is going to start creeping its ugly head up, I think. There we go. Okay, so now come down to De Besamante over here to the storage area and take this other remote storage, modular storage unit that I built. We'll just plop that one right down there. Actually, you know what? Actually, because I want it to be different, I'm going to put it right there. And then all we have to do is we have to take and put this remote storage into this one right here and boom. Look at that. We got access to that inventory. Set this thing up, get it to scan for how many blocks is that? One, two, three, four. Get it to rescan for four blocks out. Boom, boom, boom. Four is good. Scan it again, and it should add another storage. There it is. That's the modular storage right there. Make it routable. And so now that inventory is included in this inventory. How cool is that? So all of the stuff that we're going to get from that mining dimension into this uh, into this unit is available in my modular storage, my remote storage uh, storage module tablet. How about that? I love it. That's going to be great. Uh, so now that we're going to start getting some materials in here and we can start really ramping up production, we can get that, uh, uh, that farmer built for the tree farm down there uh, so that we can get some better power going in here. We're going to start working on uh, getting the, uh, the blood altar tiered up to level 6, all that good stuff. We're going to start doing our rituals so that we can have an endless supply of LP in our blood network. And, dude, it's going to be awesome. But, sadly, we are out of time for today. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments, so make sure you come right down here and leave your comments in the comment section below, and we will talk about it. We'll come up with ideas together. We'll do things together. We'll learn together, and it's going to be amazing and awesome and stuff. So once again, thanks for watching, and until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.